Welcome to Professor Dr. Grace's graphic class. Please watch the ad until the end so you can receive better content. In this tutorial, I will show you how to apply a clipping mask. First, let's take a look at the concept and the principle of a clipping mask. Clipping means cut with scissors and mask means hide. To create a clipping mask, you need at least two objects consisting of a clipping object and a mask object. To make a clipping mask, you are allowed to use only one clipping object, but you can use multiple mask objects. Clipping object has the same effect as clipping out a very large piece of paper with scissors. The objects to be used as a mask is shown only in the shape cut out by scissors and hides the rest. The thing you need to keep in mind to apply the clipping mask is that the clipping object to be used as the clipped shape by scissors must be arranged in front and the mask object to show only in the clipped shape of the clipping object and hide the rest must be arranged in back. To explain it easier to understand, when we want to hide something, it is the same principle that we hide it behind and not front. With the clipping object aligned front and the mask object aligned back selected together, select the object, clipping mask, make menu, or press the shortcut key, Ctrl 7. You see the flower pattern used as the mask object for the cut out t-shirt and you see that the rest of the flower hides behind the endless paper. As you see, if you look in the outline view of an object with a clipping mask, you will see the hidden mask object. When you apply a clipping mask to an object, the object used as the clipping object loses its original color and the clipping and the mask objects are automatically grouped. To restore the lost color, select only the clipping object with the direct selection tool and then apply a color in the swatches panel. As you see now, the mask object that touches the edge of the clipping object can be displayed neatly. Imagine that you are drawing the shape you are looking at now without applying a clipping mask. It will take a lot more effort and a lot of time to get the same result. Now, I will show you how to apply a clipping mask in three different ways with references. Select the floral pattern and move it over the t-shirts. T-shirt is the clipping object to cut out, and the floral pattern is the mask object that shows only in the clipping object and hides the rest. Keep in mind that the clipping object must be in front and the mask object to be arranged back. Therefore, after selecting a flower object, right-click and select Arrange, Send to Back, or Press the shortcut key, shift, control, left bracket. Select the t-shirt and the flower together and select the object, clipping mask, make menu, or press the shortcut key, control 7. You will see that the t-shirt used as the clipping object loses its original color and you see the floral pattern only as much as the clipping t-shirt shape. When you apply a clipping mask, the clipping object and the mask object are automatically grouped together. Press A on the keyboard to select Direct Selection Tool. Select only the t-shirts with no color. With the Fill Color icon in the front, click the original color green in the Swatches panel to apply a fill color. In the stroke panel, click the weight drop-down button and select three points. 
A beautiful t-shirt with a clean floral design that touches the t-shirt's border is completed. This time, I will show you how to create a clipping mask in another way. Press V to select selection tool. Select the flower pattern to the right of the blue one piece and move it halfway across the one piece boundary. Press the shortcut key Shift Ctrl left bracket to send the flower back. Select the flower and the one piece together and press the shortcut key Ctrl 7 or right click and select Make Clipping Mask. Press A to select the direct selection tool and then touch only the one piece to select it. With the fill color icon in the front, click the original color blue in the swatches panel to apply a fill color. Click the weight drop down button in the stroke panel and select three point. Press V to select the selection tool and click the one piece. Click the Edit Contents icon in the control panel. With only the flowers hidden in the clipping object selected, press Alt and drag several times to where you want to copy the flower pattern. The flower pattern that touches the one piece edge looks neat. If so, is it possible to add another mask object to an object that already has a clipping mask applied to it? Yes, available. This time, I will show you how to add a new circle object to a floral one piece that already has a clipping mask applied. After selecting the circle object, press Ctrl X to cut and copy. Press A to select the direct selection tool. Select only the one piece object, which is the clipping object, and select the edit, paste in front, or paste in back menu. Or press the shortcut key Ctrl F or Ctrl B. You can see that the circle object has been newly added to the object with the clipping mask already applied. Press V to select the selection tool. While holding down Alt, drag the circle several times to copy the pattern. A pretty dress that uses two patterns as mask objects is completed. If you want to release the clipping mask, select the object to which the clipping mask is applied and then select the object, clipping mask, release menu, or press the shortcut key Alt Ctrl 7. As you see, the clipping mask is released and all the objects come back to their normal state before applying the clipping mask. This time, I will show you another way to apply a clipping mask. Let's use the clipping mask on the head illustration drawn in solid color for more elaborate expression. Select one of the objects in the head and click the Draw Inside icon at the bottom of the Tools panel. You will see a dot border appear at the top, bottom, left, and right corners of the selected object. Draw Inside lets you apply a clipping mask by drawing a mask object directly on the selected object. Select the pen tool, draw an object pass, and click the first anchor point to close the pass.
click the stroke color icon in the tools panel to bring it front. Then click none to remove the color. Click the fill color icon to bring it front. Then drag the black case slider to the right in the color panel to make it slightly darker than the current color. By increasing the black value, you can easily create a shadow color that is slightly darker than the original color. Click the draw normal icon at the bottom of the tools panel to turn off the clipping mask mode for the currently selected object. To draw a shadow on the rest of the objects, select each object. Click the draw inside icon and repeat the same steps as before to complete the illustration. When you draw an object in clipping mask mode, you can roughly draw because the part will be hidden.
A beautiful head illustration is completed with more detail. As you've seen, when you draw an illustration that an object overlaps on another object's boundary, drawing with a clipping mask is very efficient because it hides unnecessary parts and neatly displays the boundary. Clipping mask is also a very important technique in the illustration workflow. In this tutorial, I showed you how to apply a clipping mask in three different ways. The first and the second methods are useful when you prepared a mask object in advance. And the third method is useful for drawing the illustration when you want to draw object inside the selected object. I hope you can draw a nice illustration using the clipping mask according to the situation of the object. I hope that today's tutorial helped you understand the clipping mask. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching Professor Dr. Grace's Illustrated Lecture. Please watch the next video in order to follow all the courses without skipping a lesson. To keep learning and master Illustrator, please press the subscribe and the like buttons.